Good morning. Hello, hello. How are you today? Hi, good to see you. How are you feeling? Good. Good, good. Good to hear. Excellent. People are still coming. Okay. All right. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. <laughs> Good, good. Right. One day we will meet face to face, maybe in a few weeks, but for the moment, just online meetings. Okay, 16, more people coming, 17. All right, can, can you hear me okay? No problem? Give me a nod if you can hear. Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good job, all right. So I hope everyone is well. As I always say, of course, this semester is a little bit strange, but obviously we have to just be smart and keep safe to, uh, protect our families and friends. So anyway, it's uh, disappointing we can't meet face to face, but I think the plan is still to have a class at the university for the final test. So we will meet face to face, maybe just once for your final test day. So not the happiest day, but we can say hello anyway. <laughs> so anyway, uh, good to see you. There's 18 people here now. So thanks for joining. Um, we will take a look today at the requirements for your final writing assignment. So I will go through everything you need to finish your writing. And if you can complete your first copy, your first draft of your writing this week, and you can send to my email before Sunday night, midnight, then actually, I will give you a chance next week to get some feedback, review, and finalize your writing next week. I want everyone to do very well. I hope we can all get a good grade this semester. There's no grade curve, so it's a good opportunity for everyone. So I'm going to show you exactly the requirements for you to finish a very effective academic writing assignment. So, um, is everyone good? Can you hear me? No problem. In, in the chat box, if everything's okay, maybe send a quick message. Just, okay, good, something. Okay, chat. Yes, yes, good, good, good. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, I was previously thinking about maybe using the breakout rooms for so you could chat together. But actually, I think it's a little bit too complicated. So maybe we will skip. We'll just have a class together. Have you used the Zoom breakout rooms in any other classes? Yes, no? No. No, okay. I heard from some other teachers that it's kind of complicated to organize well. So I think let's just work together. So of course, I'm very, very happy if you can 
talk. You can answer some questions, give me some feedback, but I think let's just work as a team. So good, good. Okay. So, um, any questions? No problem. Okay. So let's take a look. I'm going to share the screen. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so I hope, so can, can you see the, the page Academic and Professional English 1 Writing Assignment? Yes, good, thank you, thank you. So the first step, of course you already chose your topic for your final writing. So previously this semester, you chose your topic and you sent me some um, introduction paragraph with your opinion. So you could choose anything, but some suggested topics were animals, the environment, transport. Did I miss one? Where's four? Ah, here customs and traditions, health and fitness, discovery and invention, fashion, economics. So I think everyone has their topic. If you really want to change, then maybe that's okay, but send me a message. But of course it's best if you just keep the same topic. So first step is you have your topic, so for your writing, okay, I just changed the screen. Can you now see English essay peer checking? Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, so to complete your essay well, here, are, here is a checklist. So the title, Firstly, firstly, you should choose some simple, clear title that fits your topic. So, of course, just some short title. So, you can see my blue circle, like Love Heart. Love Heart. <laughs> anyway, sorry, stupid. <laughs> uh, so you should choose your simple, clear title that suits your topic. So just basic title. And goodbye, love heart. Of course, your title should be in the correct place. So on your page, where, where should the title be? Of course, at the top, in the center. Okay, writing. So, of course, talking about the title, simple title, clear, fits the topic, in the center, of course, at the top. And it actually should be bold. You know, bold. What does bold mean? you know, dark, the dark writing, sorry. So you should make the, the title bold, so it is dark, and it should be capitalized correctly. So um, for, for example, um, if you choose something like, um, Income, too long. Income, inequality, oh my God, <laughs> inequality in Korea. All of the main words, 
the big adjectives, nouns, verbs should be capital letter. So the main words should be capital, but small words like in, if you have of, the, and if you have prepositions like in, of, or conjunctions like joining words, or, sorry, or articles, a, uh, the. Any short joining words should not be capitals. So main words are capitals, but small words, these joining words, there you go, small, <laughs> sorry, if I had a whiteboard, I'd be a little bit neater. Small joining words, not, come on, not capitals. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you know the word for not capitals? You say lower case. Yep, so choose main words, capitals, small joining words, not capitals, should be lowercase. So that's your title. So simple, simple, clear title, fits the topic at the top, in the center, bold, dark, with correct capitals. Main words, capitalized, small words, not capitalized. Okay, that's easy. So. If you have any questions at any time, just let me know. You can talk or send a message. But I think that is pretty simple, right? Of course. Okay, good, good. Let me clear that. Okay, let's have a quick look at the essay structure. Come on. Okay, essay structure. Can you now see the page? the PowerPoint presentation, essay structure, page 120. Yep, good, good. Okay, thanks. So of course, again, very simple. An essay is a series of connected paragraphs discussing one main topic. Essays have three important parts. Very simple. So the three, three main parts, of course, one, what's the first part? Of course, introduction, first paragraph. An introductory paragraph presents the topic, gives background information, and shows the organization of the essay. So you wanna introduce your topic, give some background information, then explain your essay plan. The last sentence of the introductory paragraph gives your thesis statement. This is very important. The thesis statement explains what the body paragraphs will be about. So, of course, after the introduction comes the body paragraphs. So, We'll do a five paragraph essay. So body paragraphs are paragraphs two, three, and four. So of course, each body paragraph explains or develops the thesis statement. Each body paragraph starts with a topic sentence that links back to the thesis statement. The thesis statement gives your main opinion. Your main argument. Oh, sorry. Ah, it's too difficult. Okay. Oh, that is crazy. So the thesis statement gives your main Oh, 
80. That's I. Gives your main opinion or argument plus introduces your three main reasons. So this should be the last sentence in your introduction. The thesis statement introduces your main opinion and your three main reasons. Then in the body paragraphs, paragraphs two, three, four, you then, the topic sentence then refers back to the three main reasons, one, two, three, then the body paragraph, the first one, refers to your first main reason, then next, then next. So this is the structure of your essay. So use your first main body paragraph to introduce your first main reason, then give some argument, some evidence. Okay, in a balanced opinion essay, the writer must explain both sides of the argument. Here, that's okay. You will give just your one main argument. Okay, so of course, you follow the same structure for paragraphs two, three, and four. So let me clear, bang, bang, bang. Then of course, the last paragraph is the conclusion. So here, you restate your thesis statement and give your own thoughts on the topic. So, of course, you should summarize your argument, give your opinion, and maybe you should give some concluding prediction about the future, what you think will happen, prediction, what you think will happen. Uh, yeah. So prediction is what you think will happen or a recommendation, what you think should happen. Yeah, so you, oh my God. <laughs> uh, they're both P's, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> okay, so we will review this again in just a minute. Pretty basic. So of course, that's the basic essay structure. Five paragraphs. Obviously, introduction, main body, one, two, three, then conclusion. Very simple. Uh, let's have a quick look at the introduction in more detail. Okay. Can you now see the page saying, writing an introductory paragraph. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for your nods. Okay, you should remember. So writing an introductory paragraph, the first or introductory paragraph of an essay has three parts, a hook, background information, and a thesis statement. So again, pretty basic. Let's look at each one. Firstly, the hook. So of course, you know, hook in Korean, when you say hook song, means you remember very well. And of course, hook, it's like fishing, fishing hook. So here like this. So it cat catches you, of course. So you want to catch the reader's attention. So the hook, the purpose of the hook is to get the reader interested in the topic. So he or she will want to keep reading. So you want something strong or interesting. Strong, makes the reader interested, maybe shocking.
at least kind of surprising something that makes people pay attention so something that's really in english when you say hook song in english people say catchy it's very catchy means you can remember well In English, you can kind of say a catchy song means easy to remember. So you want a, a catchy, here you want a catchy sentence. Something that catches your attention. Yep. Okay, so it can be a, a strong statement or a definition or a surprising question or a fact or statistic or quotation, you know, quotation, it's like ding, ding, somebody said, blah, 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 blah. Some surprising sentence from some probably famous person. Okay, here are some examples. In 2014, Americans spent 6.9 billion hours sitting in traffic. Imagine what we could do with all that time if we did not need to commute. You know, commute, traveling to and from work. So that's two sentences, but strong statement and statistic. Here, many nations are running out of water. Running out of means it's disappearing. However, a company has invented a machine which turns water from air into water you can drink. So again, some, some surprising or interesting statement. So that's the purpose of the hook. It can be one or two sentences, that's okay. Okay, so usually you will start your essay with a hook sentence, probably best at the beginning. Okay, bang, bang. Next, you can give some background information. Of course, this just helps the reader understand the essay. It's just explaining, explaining the main points, your keywords or phrases, some historical information, which is the background, some data, data, American pronunciation and statistics in again basic general explanation about your topic yeah the example this is an electronic suit with robot arms and legs which follows the wearer's movements okay anyway just a few sentences maybe like two or three sentences is enough just to give some basic um, kind of explanation about your topic all right i will i'm actually recording this class also so later today i will send you this video if you need to check or review anything and i i'll upload it to um youtube and send you the YouTube link because then there are some subtitles, the captions. So it's easier for you to um, read um, along while I'm speaking. Okie dokie, so let me clear that. Bang. Uh, yep, hang on. So now, most importantly, in your introduction. The thesis statement is the most important part of your essay. It can be either one sentence or a few sentences, but it is the essay plan. It provides the structure for all of your essay. So if you can organize your thesis statement well, then the rest of your essay will be easy. 
So it's usually the last sentence in the introduction. It gives a preview of the essay and it gives your topic and your point of view. So it gives your, your topic. We said before, you give your main, your main argument, your main topic, and your three main reasons. Yep, again, quickly, main argument. So your main opinion. Now I did before, but repeat, too slow. In, introduce again your main argument, your main opinion, plus one, two, three reasons. One, two, three reasons. And then you can follow this structure for the rest of the essay. So actually here, these are a little bit different. Flying cars may reduce congestion on the ground is the, is the argument but they may create additional problems such as congestion in the air and pollution. That's two main reasons. This thesis statement informs the reader that the topic, flying cars, will be followed by both advantages and disadvantages. Your argument will be three reasons, not advantages and disadvantages, just three reasons to support your one main argument. Okay. So let me clear that. All right, so that's the introduction. Then as we said, the body paragraphs, hang on. Let's go back here. So the body, can you now see the checklist saying body paragraphs? Can you see body paragraphs? Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here, again, quick summary, body paragraphs. So you can see the three main body paragraphs. Body paragraph one, has a clear, simple topic sentence. The topic sentence just introduces again, it refers back to your first main argument from your thesis statement. So your first main reason, reason one. So body paragraph one, introduces again your first main reason, then gives some evidence. Four to eight sentences of your main reasons, facts and examples to support your topic sentence one. So this is when you give your, your supporting details. Supporting evidence. Support, oops, supporting details. Supporting, uh, yeah, supporting arguments. Yep, some facts or statistics. Yep, supporting reasons. Yep. Yeah, so it's more the information to support your first main reason. Yeah, we said reason twice, I'll remove that. Supporting evidence, supporting details to um, convince people about this first main reason. Then you follow the same process for body paragraph two. This is your second reason. and four to eight sentence to give the examples. Oh, that's what I meant to say, supporting examples. Oh, come on. Yep, so again, 
The topic sentence introduces the second main reason from your thesis statement. It refers back to the second main reason, then gives some supporting evidence, details, examples. Paragraph three, same. Explains the third main reason. Okay, so each paragraph should be just about four to eight sentences to support this reason. So, of course, this is where you need to use some of your research. We will discuss in a minute. These three supporting paragraphs should be approximately equal length. You know, approximately means like roughly, basically. Oh my God. That's again. Approximately is roughly based, it means about. Not exactly. So the three supporting paragraphs are approximately, basically, equal length, about the same length as each other. The supporting paragraphs should use reliable sources for their support to show the evidence. Every quote or idea from other sources should have an in-text citation. So here, you, sh you should remember from the previous video, the correct citations. So you can check the previous video again. And the citations should either be APA or MLA format. You can check the previous video. If you need, you can search Naver or Google to check the correct format again for APA or MLA. Actually, I don't mind which format you choose. To be honest, APA is very standard. The MLA format is used more for some like literature. Uh, you, you know humanities? In, in Korean it's um, in Munak. It's like um, human studies, like languages, philosophy. And for some humanities, the MLA style is more common. But every other style uses APA for some mathematics, science, engineering, any, any other academic writing. So to be honest, if your major is based on humanities, maybe you should practice MLA format. But if your major is more um, standard or scientific, then maybe APA is maybe more um, appropriate. But for your writing, I don't mind as long as you are consistent with one format. Okay, so a little bit messy, but I hope you can understand. So that's the body paragraphs um, requirements. So let me clear that. Okay, then next, next, of course, the final, not that one, let's go this one, I think. Come on, coming soon. Good, can you now see writing a concluding paragraph? Good, good, thank you. So we did this just in the last couple of weeks. So you should remember the conclusion. We'll do this a little bit quickly. The concluding paragraph 
of an academic essay should end the essay without adding any new ideas, any new main ideas. It should be shorter than the body of the essay. Typically, this paragraph has three parts, a transition phrase, a restatement or repetition of the thesis statement from the introduction, and a final comment. So, clear, bang, let's look at each one. The transition phrase we looked at recently, transition is changing from one place to another place. So it's the link between the conclusion from the previous paragraphs. So you can begin your conclusion with in conclusion, or in short, in summary, to summarize, to sum up or to conclude. So just introduce your conclusion with a simple transition phrase. In conclusion always works well. If you're not sure, this one is always fine. It's very suitable, bang, bang, bang. In conclusion, da, da, da. Uh, good, hang on. Then, restatement of the thesis statement we did before. Restatement, change the order of phrases and clauses. Use different words for the same concepts, which means synonyms. Synonyms, change the word. I think I said last time, if you used the word ocean previously, then in the conclusion, you can use a synonym which is what? Maybe like C, whatever. In every language, there are many alternative words. If you want to find some synonyms, just check on Naver or Google. Have you ever heard there's a word? Ah. Do you know thesaurus? A little bit difficult, sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> but anyway, th thesaurus is like a dictionary for synonyms. So if you do a search for, you can just write ocean synonym and it will bring up a thesaurus with a list, ding, 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 of alternative words. So if you're doing it at home, you can always search online. Of course, not when you're in class doing, the, doing a sit down test. Okay, so the restatement is just explaining again using different, different language. Use different language. Uh, 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 uh. Different language to restate and choose your strongest points from your main body. Find your strongest arguments, strongest reasons, and restate and give a quick summary. Of course, you know all of this, but just reviewing, give a summary of your strongest points using different language. Uh, cool, then, hang on, clear that. Okay, next page, next slide. Then your last sentence can be a final comment, which again, you should finish your essay with some powerful, you want people to remember your strong argument. So choose a powerful final comment 
with your your opinion give your good you know you want to have your opinion with some really good impact um, so you want some impact which means strong effect oh come on yep or you can give a prediction about the future what you think will happen we said before a recommendation what you think should happen or a call to action which this is like you want to inspire people to do something so let's all work together to improve this situation it's like come on it's like haja let's let's do it let's do something so this should be some like strong inspiration inspiration it's like an onion okay good so that can be the last sentence in your essay so that is the basic structure that's all we need yep so good let's just look at a few other basics that are required we'll go back to the checklist so can you now see formatting on the checklist good thank you thank you so again the formatting so of course every paragraph is indented oops sorry bit of an angle title the first every paragraph indented starts in one tab it's like five spaces Ding. start each paragraph indented then the next line is from the start to the end but new paragraph again indented so this is indented this should be oh you know you understand starting five 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 spaces in from the end which is the indent it should be double spaced each line should be double spaced in your settings and block style the the kind of standard is usually the font you know font times new uh, yeah, yeah. Roman so the font you say font in Korean I think font yep same so the font is the writing style times new Roman and size what size do you recommend anyone I think 12 is standard times new roman 12 is pretty standard for your writing choices the essay uses formal style you should not use i i think you should it should be third person this essay yeah it should third person means the main argument suggests you know this should happen so not first or second person but third person which means means what third person impersonal means this oh my god this essay will show that blah 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 not i think but this essay will show something like that it's not 
you don't use your personal pronouns. It's the third person. Uh, and so or but of you should in an academic essay, academic writing, you should not begin a sentence with and so or but. So in an academic essay, to start a sentence, Okay, come on. <laughs> Sorry. Rather than and, what can you use? There are many options. Also, in addition, ding, ding, ding. So capital letter, instead of and, also, in addition, yeah. Moreover, there's many different options. Uh, instead of so, you can use something like as a result, as a consequence, therefore. There are more options. You can look up alternatives, but don't start a sentence with these. For but, Instead of starting it, ah, instead of start starting a sentence with but, what can you use? Who can send me in, in the chat? What's a better alternative? Anyone? Thank you, someone. However, however, thank you, a couple of you. Shimu Jin, yeah. Uh, Jong Hee-gyun, thank you. However is perfect, correct. Good job, thanks, thanks. So, however, so of course, starting a sentence with the capital letter, then however, comma, bang, bang, bang. Also, comma, these are the ways to start sentences using academic writing style. Of course, within a sentence, duh, 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 and to join phrases or clauses within a sentence, no problem. Blah, 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 comma, and so, but, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. But starting a new sentence, you should use formal language. Also, as a result, however. Uh, good. Let me remove that, it's a bit messy. Clear. You should use transitional language to connect ideas. So again here, first, firstly, use first or firstly, Second, secondly, yeah, you can have thirdly or you can have there. Oh, hang on. Oh, what's going on? Then, next. Ah, why is my pen not working properly? First, second, then, next. You can use these expressions to start a sentence. You can use therefore, in conclusion, we said to start the uh, to start the concluding paragraph. Oh, my hand is going numb from all this writing. Okay, so good transitional language is also useful to help explain the structure, the progress, so the reader can can understand how your essay is smoothly kind of formatted, or not formatted, how it is smoothly arranged in a suitable structure. Transitional language is useful to make it easier to read and understand. Good, good, good. Finally, as we looked at recently, 
you will need to make sure that the citations are organized correctly. So you need a works cited page. So at the end of the essay, you can put your list of sources works cited on your final page works cited you, you could also i'm writing references is also acceptable oh sorry oh my god come on so at the end this is the final page For your final page at the end of your essay, you should list your works cited. Da -da -ding. And as we will look in a minute, of course, they should be in alphabetical order. As you know, oh my God, too long. Alpha. Bet. E cool. come on. Alphabetical order. So of course, from the first from the first word, which is the the author's name. So alphabetical order. Of, oh come on. From A to Z, Z, A to Z, alphabetical order, and the works cited page, every, inf every entry on the works cited page has all the information needed. You can go back and check the video again, or you can research. It's very easy to find this information online. If you want to check, check the MLA or APA, A P. A or M L A and do a search if you need for format or style. Yeah, so it's easy to find this information and it's okay to double check. It can be, I admit myself. I've done this many, many times in my life, but I still usually open some reference list to double check my format. It's hard to remember. Oh, that's a U, double. It's okay to double check. So open some, oh, double check. Open up some information showing the APA, oh God, sorry, APA or MLA format, only one of them, then follow the correct format, correct style. The citation should be formatted with hanging indents correctly. Okay, wait, we will come back to that in just a minute. So last one, the fonts all match in shape and size with the rest of the essay. Of course, choose if it, of course, Times New Roman 12, make sure everything is consistent. Yep, in your writing and your references. So you need all of the correct citations you need the in during your writing you need to list your citations correctly when you refer to a source in your writing then you need to list the the um, sources you used at the end here citation is formatted with hanging indents correctly hanging indents this is a little bit confusing. Have you heard before hanging indents?
Yes. Do you know this? Hang on. Oh. Oh, my hand is falling asleep. Okay, hanging indents means when you list your references, the first line is end to end, but the second line has a tab and an indent. Third line also. The hanging indents are this ding. Thing. So let me show you. Um, I'm going to clear that. I prepared another page. Can you see? Can you see here references? It says there's some red arrows. Ooh, the page is funny. You see the red arrows under Bullock? Okay. So the hanging indents means in the reference list, the second line, second, hang on, the second line here, or second, third, fourth, and so on lines are indented. The first line is here, the second, third, fourth lines are indented. This is a little bit, um, confusing but again you can check oh, hang on let me clear uh, wait 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 clear the drawings get out um, if you're using Microsoft Word can you see here Microsoft Word in Microsoft Word you can highlight the paragraph that you want to have formatted as a hanging indent. Highlight the paragraph, right click on the highlighted paragraph, select paragraph in the indentation section, in the special box, select hanging. So all of that will be in Korean on your computer, I'm sure. If you need this, you can check. But I also found for you some explanation in Korean. So wait. You can check this again on the video if you need. But I'm going to clear that. I'm going to go out now. I'm just going to stop sharing for one minute and let me share again here. Now I hope, can you now see the page? In the top left corner, it says hanging indent in HWP, right? Okay, this is a very short video just about just a little bit less than one and a half minutes. Um, so you can watch this video and it explains, it gives some um, directions about correctly arranging hanging indents. So take a quick look. Yeah, it's from the Sung Shil Smart Campus information. Can you see this video? Yep, thanks.
Okay, I hope that is useful information. As I said, I'm gonna send this video to you also. So if you need to, you can watch this again. Of course, we're gonna finish in a minute. So it will be easy to find this near the end of the video. Um, very good, okay, so we're almost finished. I, let me stop share oops stop sharing again so just to wrap up so let me explain again i want everyone to get good grades if you follow all of these requirements you will do well um the i'm going to go one more time just back to our checklist which is maybe here is it uh no wait sorry where's my checklist uh here 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 okay yep 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 okay so i hope can you now see again english essay peer checking can you see okay very good the I was originally thinking that we would do some peer review of your essays next week. But to be honest, unfortunately, it's too difficult with some online class to organize working in teams. I wish we were in the classroom, then we could work together to do some peer editing. But I have heard and experienced it's a little bit too complicated to manage effectively. So we're not going to use the breakout rooms for group work. I think we need to work, I think we need to keep it simple. So next week, I am going to send you this exact checklist for you to review your own essay. And if you can successfully um, achieve each requirement from this checklist, then your essay will be very strong. So I'll give you a quick look now, but next week I will send this to you. So if you do everything thoroughly and effectively, then your essay will be well structured, formatted, the citations will be correct, the citation page, the reference page will be organized appropriately, if you achieve all of these things, the only other thing I will check is your grammar, sentence structure, and vocabulary. So everything else will be good. So, as I said, you can check this on the video because I'm not gonna read everything, but I'll give a quick summary now. So your title should be simple, clear, fit the topic in the correct place at the top, should be bold, yep, should be capitalized correctly. The introductory paragraph should have a hook, background information, thesis statement, introducing your topic and explaining your three main reasons. 
your body paragraphs should each have a clear uh, topic sentence, then four to eight sentences giving your supporting evidence. Same with body paragraph two and three. The three supporting paragraphs should be about equal length. They should all use, they should show reliable sources and have correct in-text citations. Your conclusion paragraph should summarize your main idea and have show your supporting ideas, give a, give a summary and end with a strong closing sentence. Your formatting, every paragraph should be indented. The essay should be double spaced in block style, Times New Roman 12. You shouldn't use I or you. Also, don't start a sentence with and, so, or but in academic English. Use good transition phrases, first, second, then, next, therefore, in conclusion. And your citations should be correct in the text and also should have a, a Final page citations list, works cited or references page, excuse me, with all of the information required following either MLA or APA style correctly. It should be formatted with hanging indents in alphabetical order. And of course, all the fonts should match the same shape and size, means same font, same size as the rest of the essay. If you do all of these things successfully, your final writing will be very, very strong. And to be honest, if you do all of these things, very well this week, then your rewrite next week before you submit your final writing will be easy. So it's a good idea to get it right the first time. So just to explain clearly, you need to submit your first draft first copy of your essay before midnight this Sunday, then I will give you a chance next week to check, review, edit, and rewrite your essay, fix any problems, and submit your final copy, your final draft next week. I will check your essays. I will check your first drafts. If people have some big problems, I will let you know. Hopefully everything will be okay and you can do some self editing and fix your small problems. So if you have any questions or feedback or worries, of course, send me an email or contact me on Smart Campus and I will help. But this should give you the basic information necessary to do your essay very well. Uh, good, I've stopped sharing. Do you have any questions now? Oh, is there a fixed amount in the essay? Yeah, the length, as, as, as it said, if each body paragraph is about four to eight sentences, the introductory paragraph like four or five. So 
you're looking probably at around something like minimum about 18 or 20 sentences. So it should be about one A4 page to maybe one and a half A4 pages is probably about the average. So each, each paragraph should be about maybe four or five sentences. So it probably total is about 20, maximum 25 sentences, which will be about one or one and a half pages. Okay. But I guess, yeah, there's no exact requirement, but as long as it's minimum is like three quarters of one page to about maximum one and a half or two pages. Yeah, good question. I think average about one to one and a half A4 pages. Okay. Thank you, good question. Uh, anything else? Yeah, you, you can. Well, the introduction, thank you. Someone sent a question privately. So the introduction you submitted before, that was just for you to determine your main idea. You can use some of the information from your introduction, your previous topic introduction. But to be honest, you probably need to rewrite that to fit the structure of the five paragraph essay. Yeah, so using the same topic, you can use the same argument, but you should make sure you have a hook sentence, background information, and then the thesis statement, introducing your main topic and three main reasons. So you probably need to rewrite your introduction from before. But of course, you can use the same, of course, topic and recycle the information. But you almost definitely need to rewrite that. Good questions. Anything else? Good job. So anyway, sorry, sorry. It's a little bit long, more than one hour, one and a quarter. Um, so I hope you can remember and understand this information well. You can refer to the video to check this information. And then at the end of this week, I will send you the checklist, which you can then use to thoroughly review and edit your writing and you could submit that checklist to me next week to show that you have reviewed your writing very well. So as I keep saying, I really hope everyone can follow this, this system smoothly and then everyone can do very well in this semester's grading. So good plan, let's work together, let's do our best and have a good week. Let me know if you have any more questions. Last chance now, anything else? It's okay. So we're gonna say bye for now. You can, you can send a quick message saying bye. Let me know you're still there. You haven't disappeared. Thank you, thank you, bye, thank you, bye, bye. Thank you, thank you. If you wanna show your video, so I can see some of you, but if anyone else wants to quickly wave goodbye, you don't have to if you're still in your pajamas, but you're welcome to wave if you want to.
talk to you again soon. Have a nice week. Keep safe. Look after yourselves. Good luck with all your other subjects. And I will be in touch again soon. And I'll send you this video either today or tomorrow. I'll organize the YouTube video for you so you can see the, the captions, the subtitles. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Counting down, going soon. Five, four, three, two, one. See ya.